For one community organization, the beginning of the week means repairing their playground again. Vandals struck the Community Action Council Head Start on Winburn Drive over the weekend. Officials say it's something they've had to deal with over and over. WKYT Sean Moody takes a closer look at the problem in a story that's new at 5. This isn't the kind of sound you want to hear at a playground, but workers here at the Community Action Council Head Start on Winburn Drive say it's pretty routine. It kind of troubles your heart sometimes when you come out and you see the, the damage, the vandalism. We check the playground every Monday uh, to make sure that it's in a safe condition for our children before they come out. And these are some of the things we find after the weekend typically. This week they say it was riding on the brick walls and damage to this equipment for some of the younger kids. Malcolm Ratchford said some middle school age children pulled the tops off this toy tree. They can't allow kids to play there until the equipment's repaired. Pretty bold. You know, kids are coming out to play and I guess they get sidetracked or think it's a cool idea to come out and rip the tops off the trees on some of our equipment, but uh, these things are, are behaviors that we want to correct early on. One of the problems they say they've had out here is with this soft material that covers the playground area. This light blue spot here at the bottom of the slide is where they say kids have been cutting up in the material and they've had to replace it. And they say it's not cheap. When you have folks come out, we do the pour and play surface that you can see behind me. Uh, that is expensive. The structures themselves are expensive. So whenever these things happen, uh, it does cost money and time to get those things fixed. They say they want to stop kids from doing this before it escalates. Back in October 2013, they say someone set fire to another one of their playgrounds off Russell Cave Road. Malcolm says it'll take the whole community to solve this problem. We're all in here together. We live here together. We work here together. So let's take care of our community. In Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. Ratchford says they have video of the most recent incident. He said he's reaching out to local schools to try and help solve the problem.